Welcome to the channel and this unusual departure into a bit of painting. Now I've got this giant model here, the Forge World Mastodon, and I'm taking it to an event in a few days. So I need to paint it up pretty quickly as Death Guard. Now this thing is truly gargantuan. It really is. It's such an impressive model. It's a centerpiece and it's massive. So I want to do it justice. So I've got a Death Guard scheme in mind and I'll show you that and I'll take you through the steps. But it will be a quick video. So to give you an idea of what I'm hoping to paint it like, I have this Fire Raptor gunship. And as you can see, it's pretty Death Guard. It's pretty ground up. And it was actually really quick to paint. So where do I start to get this looking like this? And as I've taken white as my base color, the first place to start is to detail all the lines and the joints. So taking all the detail of these with black. So as you can see here, darkening of the seams of the edges and it creates a better contrast for when you put a color over the top. And for this, I'm going to use the wash Seraphim Sepia. You can do this with a dry brush, but I'm going to use a airbrush just to make it quick. With some contrast added, it's now time to cover it in Seraphim Sepia. And depending on how dark you want to have it, you can do two coats. But first it's time to base cut all the silver, so that's all the guns, any of these little vents, uh, these units here. With all the silver base coating done, it's now time to do some detailing. In particular, I'm going to do the Screaming School dry brushing and all the Seraphim Sepia. Add some highlights and lighten it a bit. And then I'm going to use a collection of reds, greens and yellows. So do some detailing on any bits that looks like it should have lighting. And I'm also going to add some black detailing to these guns as well. Progress so far. I've done a very light dry brush with Screaming Skull. I've added various bits of black detailing to the lead belcher as you can see. And this is just using the Contrast Black Templar. For the Void Shields I've used Contrast Telestar Blue. Looks pretty cool on there. I've started off the muzzle burn by using Drooky Violet on the end of the guns. And then across the model I've coloured in all the little buttons and stuff. While any of these colours will work, I like the Contrast Blood Angels Red. Tesseract Glow and the Anden Yellow. And then the final stage of this step was to do Null Noil across all the silver bits. The next step is a particular fun part as I add Legion specific colours. And as this is Death Guard, I'm going to use the Death Guard green base colour, two thin coats and so it'll cover whatever's there anyway. I'm just going to select a few panels like this one down here, this front bit, little areas like these which would look quite good coloured. And the main gun shield and the Legion markings are done. And when you're doing this, it's completely by choice what you want to do. You can be as subtle or as blatant as you want. I've seen examples where this whole entire piece is one Legion colour, and that looks really good. I've gone for the recessed sections, but you could also equally go for the raised sections instead, and it would look just as good. The next step is one of the most exciting bits, is the weathering. So first I'm going to use black and a sponge to do some chipping and stones. I'm just going to dab the sponge over certain areas. And I'm going to do the same with Storm Host Silver as well to do chipping. And then I'll use one of the best products available, this Dirty Down Rust, just in certain areas. And it'd create a really cool look. Often what I like to do for the treads is mix up a brown wash and just dab that a little bit here and then. It creates like a dirty feel on the tracks. Being Death Guard, why not use Typhus Corrosion as well? As Squidmire would put it before the grand reveal, don't forget to like this video as it really helps out the channel.